Hi lads and lasses, Modus Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoy this video, please ask your partner to call you subscribe to Modest Pelican Gaming in the bedroom. If they refuse, simply sue them for negligence as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Alright, there's a new update for the Mega Yachts and I just so happen to own a Mega Yacht. I purchased it a while ago so I could fill a void I had deep inside of me and it worked, thus proving that money does in fact buy happiness. New updates are best enjoyed with some best friends forever so it's time to go and pick up the lads. Also what was I thinking when I painted this car green? This ain't it chief. I grab Marto and don't worry if you're checking out Robbo's avatar, it's not weird we all do it. Anyone who thinks developing surprisingly serious lustful emotions for your bro's female avatar is weird probably has real physical relations with actual women, simps. We grab the final lad Carbo and Robbo proceeds to shoot him in the head. We all have that one friend who team kills like it was Operation Wikinger. That's a pretty specific reference, but basically in World War II a bomber thought some warships were enemies and attacked them, but they were from the same country. Boy I bet his face was red. Anyway, there she blows, the SS Moby Thick. People think being a yacht owner is easy, but it's not. I have to act better than everyone else all the time because I am better than everyone else because I own a yacht. It's exhausting. Trying to bring up that I own a yacht in every conversation? Walk a mile in my boat shoes, big girl. Despite this, the lads show a total lack of respect, treating the deck like a boat car park. A boat park, I guess. The joke's on them though, because I have god mode controls where I can forcefully take off their clothes with one button. Consent is like Kim Kardashian's Randy movie. Overrated. We need to start these missions as apparently there's a spicy reward. I head inside to talk to the captain. He's a good man, I like his hat, and now it's time to begin. I've always loved the cinematography of these walking out the door shots and yes, Robbo has a strawberry on his head again. He also insists that he pilots the chopper and I'm obviously not going to argue with a thick strawberry so it is what it is. I don't know why but this feels like a really wholesome moment. We've got a parachute down and take out some of the joyriders who have been causing a scene on their jet skis. If there's one thing yacht owners hate, it's a multicultural society, I mean young adolescent males having fun. For real, I genuinely don't understand how firing upon unarmed hooligans is socially acceptable, but the important thing is we got them. Carbo and I emerge from the water looking as moist and majestic as ever and now we have to destroy a rival yacht club's boats. They have many guards but fortunately I'm a bit of a champ with the old AR and I make short work of the frankly pretty useless security personnel. We then destroy all of the yachts and have to make a swift escape. Marto informs us that he's pinned down back at the docks and begs us to come and save him. But it just feels like there's a lot going on right now so yeah, rest in peace you gorgeous Malacca. $32,000 in the bank, let's go. We head back to Moby Thick and enjoy some time in the hot tub, while Robbo comes to terms with the fact that I've disabled friendly fire. Carbo accidentally left the organisation so we can still murder him and decide to ask him various educational questions and if he gets them wrong, he dies. I will be uploading the live moments from this video to my second channel, Papa Pelly, which I launched a couple of weeks ago. Yes, I'm turning into one of those YouTubers that shamelessly and frequently plugs their second channel. Cue that same shot again, let's go. Okay, we've got to salvage some cargo from the bottom of the ocean which requires skill as diving is risky business but nothing we can't handle. Robbo proceeds to drown. We gather all the cargo and then I tactically take out an enemy sniper who is perched up on the beach. Sorry hotshot, but when you play with the big boys you always lose. Unless of course we drown ourselves. As we head back to the yacht for some more well-earned straight boys time in the hot tub, it becomes apparent that it's been overrun by hijackers who I can only assume are Somali pirates. As inspirational as Somali pirates may be, they've taken my captain and more importantly, my bartender hostage. How the heck am I going to enjoy Monday morning mimosas with the boys if my bartender dies in a hostage crisis? Honestly kind of selfish on her part getting taken, she should have hidden. 
After trying to set up an epic Rainbow Six Siege breach and clear moment for quite a while, we eventually realise that they are in fact being held on the beach, not on the bridge. There's a small army defending them as well, it's getting pretty heated. Now I'm not saying that you can put a monetary value on human life, but at what point do you just take the L? I don't think it would be that hard to find a new bartender and I've literally never even moved my yacht. Anyone could be the captain. Taking this into account, I decide to take a gamble and just let bullets fly. Pretty risky, but against all odds they actually survive so that's just great. They both ask to take the afternoon off as personal leave, and where do these motherfuckers think they work, Google? Get back to your workstations on my yacht because it's almost sunset and I'll be damned if the boys and I miss another glorious end to the day. $42,000 in the bank, this is genuinely pretty good money. Okay, so apparently I misjudged the dynamic and we're actually errand boys for the captain now. He wants us to go and help some of his rich yacht friends as their cars have been lit on fire. Of course we just call the fire department, just kidding, this is GTA Online. We're going to steal the Coast Guard's planes which can dump water and put out the fires from above. I decide to cover the boys in a buzzard attack chopper, but I get a bit excited and let one fly straight at Stealth Omato which destroys the Tula. The boys then demote me to Tula pilot which is extremely belittling. At least it's good to see that the Coast Guard is using the best aerial technology 1960 had to offer. I'm pretty sure that's a Browning machine gun mounted on the back, so at least we can all sleep easy knowing our coastal borders are in safe hands. On the positive side, you can fill these bad boys up with water and then dump the water wherever you like. This got me thinking and so I flew to the nearest pool I could find and proceeded to hydrate the good people of Los Santos from the air. Of course this water is chlorinated and I believe I just crushed that woman with my plane but my heart is in the right place. $9,000 in the bank. You might be wondering why such a low amount. Well I got a bit jealous that the boys were flying together and so I did the mature thing and kamikazed them. We celebrate with yet another hot tub session. Carbo had to go to dinner so we replaced him with a car. Terrible banter and it leaked oil into the water, but quite frankly the best and only sex I've ever had. The captain then asks us to go and get revenge on the people who kidnapped him. He wants us to hit them where it hurts the most, by destroying their air conditioning units. This may honestly be the most underwhelming revenge game I've ever heard in my entire life. It's like yo, those guys forcefully took me against my will and put a gun to my head leaving me with unrepairable psychological wounds. And for that they will pay the ultimate price of being slightly uncomfortable during summer. $25,000 in the bank. We're then thrown the biggest curveball yet. Non hot tub worthy weather. Where will we sit half naked together? This is a real predicament and then bam. We're attacked by the same dodgy malakas whose air conditioning we just destroyed. They've attacked us during a storm, where's the class? Honestly though, fair enough. I don't like my captain, he's a troublemaker and I think he's the problem. This reminds me of when I had a friend at university who I played football with. We were away for a tournament and I swear to god the amount of times he got himself in a sticky situation was insane. At one point I was fast asleep and I heard this angry mob smashing on the door so being tired I let them in. I'll admit poor decision making on my behalf but this entire team stormed in and my mate comes out of his room with one of their girlfriends and all she was wearing, and cover your ears because this isn't holy, but all she was wearing was a g-string. He looks at this guy and is like bro, nothing happened. I guess some people are just gifted in the art of language because they left peacefully. I'm kidding, the boyfriend tried to kill him and we all had to pull him off, it was pretty aggressive. My girlfriend had to stand in front of him until they left while I cried in the corner, I mean I also helped out, I was really brave. The point is, my teammate was feeling sorry for himself and couldn't understand why this was happening. The moral of the story is don't let an angry mob into your safely locked apartment and avoid premarital relations. We defeat the attackers and pocket a cool $26,000. Now as we are balls deep in my captain, rather my captain's mess, we will need to take down these kidnappers once and for all. The plan is to use submarines to sneak up on their mega yacht and then take it down. We're on the hardest difficulty and only have one life so executing this with precision will be key. And god damn it, who let Mato fly the helicopter? I guess because we all died at once it let us respawn which genuinely saves the friendship as I was about to unfriend him on Xbox Live. We sail along in the submarine. Well obviously not sail, so I guess drive. Whatever the right verb for submarine movement is, is what we do. There's some more World War II inspired stuff, you love to see it. 
First things first, I mess up his meticulously parked jet skis, thus completing stage one of our attack. Stage two is where we kill him and every single one of his associates. Quite an escalation in stages. Anyway, this is where the boys are at their best, tactically sweeping a watercraft. I then accidentally dive off the side while trying to clamber, which seems dumb at first, but it draws my attention to the fact that their boss is no longer on the yacht. An exciting water chase is the perfect finale to this little charade. Sorry champ, but the only thing you'll be hijacking now is my balls on your forehead. I don't really have anything for this, but we nail the big man. $26,000 in the bank, and it's now time to see what our reward is. Oh my god, it's not what I expected, but it's also extremely welcome. Girls love a man in uniform, and if I don't say so myself, I do be looking good in this outfit. We have a couple too many drinks and stumble downstairs where I take advantage of Stealth Omato. I'm kidding, we have a friendly nap and leave a safe 120 centimeter gap between us because God's always watching. I know this yacht has like six bedrooms, but still, it's kind of cute, right? I also painted my yacht red, which cost like $200,000, but you can't put a price on beauty. I also painted the neon too, because I miss this car actually looking good. The captain outfit actually does demand respect amongst players too, which is a nice addition. They shall call me Captain Daddy. Thanks for watching, you absolute legends, and a massive thanks to those who support the channel on Patreon. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.